from WEEK, your home team. This is 25 News at 6. It has been the theme all week. Cases of COVID-19 are increasing exponentially, and the governor says a new stay-at-home order is no longer off the table. Good Thursday evening, everyone. I'm Titor Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. This comes as state health leaders say COVID-19 is spreading throughout the state, and the strain that puts on health care providers is tonight's top story. Take a look at the statewide positivity rate. The seven day rolling average has quadrupled in the past month. Right now, more than one in 10 people who get tested are positive for the virus. So IDPH has new recommendations. Stay home as much as possible for the next three weeks. It's not a mandate, but if things get worse, the governor warned today that it could become that way as he feels there are a few options left. With many community leaders choosing not to listen to the doctors, we are left with not many tools left in our toolbox to fight this. The numbers don't lie. If things don't take a turn in the coming days, we will quickly reach the point when some form of a mandatory stay at home order is all that will be left. With every fiber of my being, I do not want us to get there. But right now that seems like where we are heading. The state health department is urging people in Illinois to reconsider any holiday travel plans and to only leave the home for essential errands. As state leaders warn of new harsh restrictions, some lawmakers want to hold a hearing on Illinois' pandemic response. House Democrat LaShawn Ford and Senate Republican Sue Rezin feel the lawmakers have been left out of the decision-making process. They say the governor should work with them and industry stakeholders to slow the spread of COVID-19 while also saving businesses. Whether it's the restaurant, whether it's teachers, whether it's the hospitals, whether it's the nursing homes, they should be at the table. That Chicago native also wants lawmakers to hear from landlords and tenants to improve executive orders on rent payments. Ford also wants a COVID-19 task force to keep lawmakers informed on decision making. The lawmakers have suggested a virtual setting, believing it could work as the Senate has held Zoom hearings now for several months. Well, central Illinois is no different from the rest of the state as local health departments reported more than 1,000 new cases of COVID-19 in our viewing area today. Some of those are from the past two days, like McLean County, which reported 421 new cases and its 42nd death. Peoria, LaSalle, and Livingston all added more than 100 new cases today. Deaths continue to climb too, now up to 417. Putnam is the only county with no reported COVID-19 deaths. In the last week, the Tri-County region, that's Peoria, Woodford, and Tazewell counties, has increased its case count by more than 2,000. And that brings the total for the area to over 11,700 cases. The big concern for medical professionals now, the number of patients needing hospitalization. Locally, over 160 beds are being used just for COVID-19 patients, the highest since the pandemic began. While both presidents of OSF and Unity Point say uh, they are more prepared in terms of supplies and how to care for those patients, their big concern now, having hospital staff to take care of them. Continue on this path, closures will be the least of the worries for this community. More pressing will be increased mortality or deaths, further health complications, and the overwhelming of our health care system. In terms of concerns of the flu and COVID-19 impacting the hospitals at the same time, their hope is that people will follow the recommended COVID-19 mitigation measures because those same techniques will stop or help stop the spread of the flu. To Chicago today where the mayor is imposing even stricter rules, including a cap of 10 people on gatherings around that city. We continue on the path we're on and you, and me and others don't step up and do more. Our estimates are that we could see a thousand more Chicagoans die from this virus by the end of the year. Under that stay at home advisory, residents are advised to only leave home to go to work, to school or for essential needs like medical care.